It's my birthday. <laughs> wow, it seems like yesterday I looked kind of like that. That was my high school graduation picture. Oh, God. How time has flown by. I always think how, you know, time is just really kind of an amazing thing, but it's usually in reference to a drummer who I'm working with. Um, but then, not today. Uh, just finished doing an interview. Um, with uh, a company in uh, England that's doing a, a documentary film and one of the uh, segments are going to talk about the uh, the life and career of Diana Ross and so they wanted me to kind of reiterate the uh, the story I told about um, the theme to Mahogany so I think they're gonna when things calm down they're gonna send over a, a film crew to be interviewing a bunch of people and they're gonna come over and we're gonna talk about it so that that was kind of cool and then i have this to do and then at one o'clock i have an interview for an article that's being written about the immediate family our new band um, so that's great i mean it's, it's like just trying to fill every day you know birthday or not it's uh that but my wife made a, a fabulous chocolate cake which she won the la county fair is the biggest fair in the united states um, none larger. It's a prestigious fair. And her chocolate cake won the blue ribbon four times at it. So um, I'm going to skip food today and just eat chocolate cake. <laughs> it's really unbelievable. Took the boys out for a walk, had a nice walk, and had a really interesting thing. I saw some guy standing at my gate um, trying to figure out how to open the gate. So I went out there just to see what he wanted. He was just Guy standing there with his mask on, his gloves on, and holding a bag. And so I went out there, and uh, he just said, well, I hate, I don't want to really bother you, but um, I have something for you. And it, it was a birthday present. And uh, one of the things was a, a box of dog cookies for Marcello and Rossano, which is the exact same ones I get them at Trader Joe's, so that, that's great. But... Um, he wrote me this beautiful letter on there and explained it all. And he works at Jet Propulsion Laboratories, which are just north of where I live in Pasadena, just above us. I've, I've got, I had the opportunity to tour there many years ago. James Taylor's father, uh, who uh, was a doctor, but he also was, was at MIT. He had a friend uh, whose son, I think, worked at JPL. And James and I went up there when he was in town and we watched, we sat in the uh, clean room windows looking out, watching them building the Galileo spacecraft. And then I have another friend who works up there and I went up and did a, a complete tour of it. Well, this guy is one of the guys who drives the Mars rover. Um, he steers it from Earth, but drives it over the surface of Mars from what, what I, I understand. And he gave me a commemorative shirt uh, for my birthday that has a patch on it about the the, the, um, the lunar, I mean, the uh, Martian rover and everything. So that was cool. And it's, it's like everything just kind of comes out of the blue and you just sort of go, this is great. So, you know, being 73 now is, is a little bit weird. You know, you, you kind of, I think I mentioned it before, you look at your calendar as a young kid uh, getting started and it looks like there's an eternity ahead of you on that calendar and then all of a sudden that calendar's not looking that big anymore there's a finite amount of dates on it even if you're really healthy you know and robust and uh, so you know I'm just going to try to enjoy every day and one of the things that's really made every day especially under these circumstances enjoyable is being here with you guys, you know, I'm not bullshitting. I really, I really look forward to this. I think about it. I had like five things I was looking at, you know, potentially doing today, but I thought I'd sort of would finish off my, my Billy Cobham um, time here. So I'm going to do Tarian Matador, which was one of the songs from Spectrum. And uh, at some point I'm going to stop for a second and and give you this because Jan Hammer and Tommy Bolin in this are trading solos, licks back and forth on it. And at one point, Tommy's just sitting there going, meow, meow, meow. He's, he's bending. And at the top of his last bend, he breaks his E string. And you can hear it go, 
on the track. And the guy was so good, he just kept right on blowing, finished his solo, finished the, the, the last head of the tune, and we were done. Never went in, fixed it. They didn't punch it in or do anything like that. We just plowed through this record in two days and got everything done. And uh, Tommy was that kind of a guy, man. He was like just a ferocious fly-by-the-seat-of-your-pants player. And uh, it was just great when this happened. We would just all kind of look at each other. And he just kept right on going. So it was, it was pretty bitchin'. So I'll stop and I'll try to point that out because I've mentioned it to people and they're going, where, where does that happen? So I'll, I'll get out of Tommy's way and let you hear him break his, his string. And, uh, but uh, so I'm going to jump right now into Tari and Matador. I'm going to try to grab the intro. It's hard to, it, it, there's no count off on this. So it hits so fast. I'll, I'll try to be there at the top of it. So I'm going to shut the hell up right now and let's see what happens. played that groove like shit because I can't really hear it here and it's really strange. This is the bass I played on Tari and Matador and stuff but I was more focused on trying to make sure I, I, I got to their part on this where they trade off and, and Tommy breaks his string but this is it's just that's just repetitive over and over and when I can hear drums better I can sit on that one a little bit better but I love the space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Enough of my noodle fest. I'm going to go down and 
eat some chocolate cake. Uh, come back tomorrow, I'll be like this big with giant zits all over my face, and I won't look anything like that picture like I do now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Um, so have a great day, everybody. Um, I, I appreciate I've gotten a whole lot of birthday messages, and I really appreciate that. That's really so so sweet of people to take time out to to uh, send out their their salutations to me. Um, I try to use all these words because I play a lot of Scrabble. And I got to try to remember them when I'm sitting there and uh, stumped for a, a word. But um, uh, take good care. Um, you know, if you if you want at some point today, eat something sweet and think of me. <laughs> that sounds a little creepy, so don't <laughs> erase that one. Um, and I will uh, I will see you tomorrow. I've got. I'm just looking at a little list of songs that, that I really like, um, that are completely diverse. So I'll see what kind of mood I'm in tomorrow to, uh, to go after. One of them has a very um, cool long back, long back story, all pertaining to the Taylor family. So maybe I'll do that. And it was one of the songs that I really had the pleasure of playing so simply and with Steve Gadd. So it's just, it's a, it's really a nice little, little, flavor little nugget so um shout out to all the uh the people working hard you know their days don't end their nights don't end they're out there just being diligent you know 24 7 trying to take care of people and uh there's some really crazy stuff going on in the country right now people are really stressed and going crazy and and it's turning uh some of it's getting really really ugly and i hope we can get past that because um, we don't need that. In, in, with what's going on, the last thing we need is for people to be really doing hideous things to one another. So let's try to chill, cool it. So I, uh, you're the best. I really love being here with you guys and I'm uh, having the time of my life. It's really made this quarantine something quite tolerable. And like I've said before, um, when, the, when the quarantine's finally lifted, uh, I'm going to stay not right here physically in this room. I'll be here a lot, but when I can hit the road again, I'm going to I'm going to take this on the road with me and and film you know gigs we're doing backstage. You'll introduce everybody to like the guys in the band. We introduce you to Russ Kunkel and Danny Korchmar and Waddy Wachtel and Steve Postel, the, all, all the cats and whatever gigs I'm doing. If I'm out with Judith Owen, I'll I'll introduce you to the crazy woman, <laughs> the fabulous Judith Owen. And, uh, and whoever's out there, uh, because I think this is a community that, that bears sharing. And, uh, and, uh, and I, I really am enjoying it so much that I really intend not to stop with this. So um, if you stop showing up, then I guess I'm just going to be sitting here. You know, I'm not going to say it. Okay. <laughs> Take good care. Say goodbye to that, that guy right there. Wow. Not him. Him. Pretty freaks me out, okay? See you tomorrow.